Hello, my name is Deborah Fanny Miller, and I wrote Grappling with the Grumblies, the story I'm going to read for you today. It is beautifully illustrated by Diane Jacobs and published by Frontenac House. Here we go. One night, Mom kissed me goodnight and wished me sweet dreams. I had a good night and sweet dreams. The next morning, Mom woke me up and wished me good morning. I did not have a good morning. My mom woke me up too early. I wanted more sleep. She turned the light on too fast. It bugged my eyes. Wake up, Jessie, she said too loudly. It bugged my ears. That's when the grumbly appeared. Grump, said the grumbly. Grump, said I. And the grumbly grew. Mom called. Breakfast is ready. Hurry up, please. I hate hurrying. The grumbly followed me. We sat grim-faced at the table. Toasted bagel with butter and salami, just the way you like it, Mom said, smiling. Oh, and don't forget to drink all your milk. Grump, said the grumbly. I said, Bagels again, and I'm sick of milk. The grumbly grew. Stop complaining and sit properly on your chair. Grump, said I. Grump, said the grumbly. And the grumbly grew and knocked me off my seat. Stop messing about and eat, Mom said too loudly. I did not enjoy my breakfast, and I did not drink my milk. Get dressed now. We're going to be late, Mom said, not smiling. Grump, said I. Grump, said the grumbly, and the grumbly grew. The grumbly got up the stairs before me. The grumbly was so big it got stuck in my doorway. I had to push and shove and shove and push just to get into my own room. That made me very tired. I had to rest. Then Mom came in and said, Back in bed? Not dressed yet? Grump, said I. And the grumbly grew and fell on my bed. Stop that, I yelled. Don't you yell at me, Mom said. Grump, said I. Grump, boomed the grumbly. Then the grumbly grew so big, there was no room in my room. I was stuck. I'm, I'm, I'm so grrr, 
I said. My mom looked straight into my eyes and said, You're grappling with the grumblies, aren't you? Yes, I said. I was getting grumpy too, Mom said. Grump! The grumbly boomed again. But we weren't listening. You know, you don't have to grapple with the grumbly, Mom smiled. I don't, I said. The grumbly crossed his arms and tapped his feet. Come on, let's get our grumblies out, said Mom and took my hand. We'll wiggle those grumblies away. We wiggled our hips. We wiggled our toes. We wiggled our fingers. We wiggled our noses. We wiggled our tummies. We wiggled our bummies. We looked pretty funny. We grinned pretty big grins. Grump, the grumbly said in a small voice. We grinned from ear to ear and the grumbly got smaller. Are you still grappling with the grumblies, Mom asked. A bit, I said not in my nicest voice. What would you like to do about it, Mom asked. I'd like to shake. Great, said my mom. We'll shake those grumblies away. We shook our heads. We shook our hips. We shook our legs. We shook our lips. I shook for having to wake up early. Mom shook for having to rush. I shook for not eating my bagel. Mom shook for wasted milk. Then we shook for rushing milk and wasted earlies. And we shook for mumbly, bumbly, grumblies and bagel wiggles and malami, tatami, salami. And then <laughs> I laughed. And the grumbly got smaller. And then Mom and I both laughed. And the grumbly got so small, I picked it up in my hand. And the grumbly looked straight into my eyes. The grumbly laughed. Bye-bye, Grumbly, I said. And the Grumbly was gone. And I went off to school. The End